Kent Barnes just brought his balloon out of the blue to come visit our school. He was here, I think, three years ago. And uh, they just come out in conjunction with the Antelope Island uh, balloon stampede that they have uh, Mem uh, Labor Day weekend. Did a 20-minute assembly at the beginning, teaching kids about the history of ballooning, the science that goes behind it, the preparation that he had to go through to uh, get licensed, study the weather, um, and then he also explained the preparations and plans that go into preparing even for something as simple as just going up and down. The first time that people flew was on November 21st, 1783, and Ben Franklin, that's no Ben Franklin is, right? Yeah. yeah. Ben Franklin was there, he actually saw that. And it was about 10 years later that the first balloons flew in North America. And it wasn't until 120 years later that the Wright brothers make their first flight. So we've actually been flying hot air balloons for much longer than we've been flying airplanes. Well, it was kind of amazing because being able to see how big they are and like the colors and how awesome the designs are. I learned that actually hot air balloons have been around longer than airplanes and also that the first airplane, I mean, hot air balloon came from India. We did a random drawing for teachers that, that selected that they wanted a chance to go up. We chose six of them and they're excited, they're happy. Even though they're signing their life away on the form, they're excited to go up. I thought it was great. I wish we could go flying away and come back this afternoon. <laughs> I think it's a fun kickoff for the beginning of the school year and do something fun that the kids can remember and maybe you can write about and, uh, it. I think Davis School District's incredibly fortunate that they've got the support from the Antelope Island Balloon Committee and from the uh, Air Force Association to help fund this. Uh, without their support, you know, there's just no way this could happen. I mean, they do a great job and we're really proud to support both the Air Force Association and the Antelope Island Balloon Stampede. I think the reception from the kids is really outstanding. Uh, there's a few challenges from our side because of the, the K through sixth grade trying to appeal to that broad range. But I, I love working with the kids and particularly, uh, you know, when we lay the balloon down and having all the kids help. And I think it's exciting for the kids to be able to see an aircraft and have somebody come to their school instead of having to go to the airport and having to do a field trip and things like that. The things we try and teach the kids are, number one is um, giving them a, the exposure to the complete spectrum and then helping them understand uh, what makes a hot air balloon fly, what are the components. And I think it's also exciting for the kids to see their teachers actually get lifted up in a balloon. We've got curriculum that we deliver to each of the schools. It's probably oh, 100, 100 to 120 pages worth of curriculum that we leave behind the schools that give the teachers ideas for lesson plans and coloring and uh, some things that appeal to the lower grades, some middle grades and higher grades. So we really try and use this as a, as a tool to generate excitement and then leave the school with some things that they can build upon that excitement. Mm -hmm.